Hey guys, it's Robin and welcome to the Science of Self-Care. Today we're going to be making walnut milk together and I'm really excited because this is based on my mom's recipe with, of course, a little science of self-care twist. The ingredients in this walnut milk will help balance our blood sugar, help us feel full and fueled, offer us prebiotics as well as probiotics, electrolytes in the form of minerals, and generally help regulate and stimulate our digestion. It is not only so simple and so delicious, it is so good for us. And I'm really excited to share this recipe with you. So first of all, you might ask, why walnut milk? Well, besides the fact that this milk can be made without straining, which is usually a requirement of most other nut milks, walnuts are also such a healthy ingredient to include in our diet regularly. They offer us lovely composition of macronutrients, protein and fat, and specifically omega-3s in the form of alpha linolenic acid. They also offer fiber. Most importantly in my book is that they're shown to be really good for our microbiome. Studies have shown that consistently eating walnuts helps to feed beneficial gut bacteria and also helps to reduce biomarkers associated to colon cancer. In another study that looked at colon cancer survivors, those who consistently ate walnuts had lower rates of cancer recurrence. The most complicated part of this recipe is just thinking ahead the night before and making sure to soak your walnuts in some water overnight. This will make the walnuts tastier, easier to digest, and will generally offer us a smoother walnut milk. Another ingredient in this milk is cinnamon. Clinical studies have shown that adding cinnamon to our meals reduces our blood sugar spikes after eating. So adding cinnamon to food is a great way to reduce the glycemic impact of those foods. The next wonderful ingredient ingredient in this recipe is mineral salt. Sodium is something that is needed for our body and though it has been villainized in the past, it's definitely not something that should be avoided at all costs. Especially for those of us who are not eating processed foods, we should still be making sure that we're getting plenty of sodium and potassium and other minerals in our diet. So adding salt to things can not only amp up the flavor but also add a beneficial ingredient to our foods. Another beautiful ingredient in this recipe is vanilla. Vanilla offers B vitamins and a delicious taste to anything. I would definitely suggest adding a touch of vanilla. So a last optional step is to add some powdered probiotics to the mix. Though there is still so much unknown about different strains and everyone's microbiome is different and will respond differently to probiotics, this is something I like to do. Consistently add probiotics to my diet to cover my base and attend to my microbiotic health. <laughs> so after you have soaked your walnuts overnight, you're just going to rinse away the water and add the ingredients in a blender together. I usually blend for a total of two minutes to make sure everything is nice and smooth, but it literally is that simple. Adding all the ingredients in a blender blending and enjoying. It is so delicious. I love having it in my coffee. It can also be used in smoothies, in porridge, for really any recipe you might use in that milk. So I hope you consider making it. It's not as complicated as it seems. Go soak some walnuts right now and you will thank me tomorrow. Bye guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.